Outing protesters greeted Hasidic Jews heading to a fundraiser tonight. The beneficiary, an accused child molester. The case leaving the community angry and divided over how to handle sexual abuse. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy reports from Williamsburg. Protect victims, not abusers. Protesters made their presence known. Nakemia Weberman, the man at the center of the controversy, shook hands and accepted warm wishes. He's been charged with sexually molesting a 16-year-old girl beginning when she was just 12. But on this night, hundreds of Hasidic Jews packed the hall and plunked down money to help support him. He has a lot of support in the community. And tell me how much money you hope to raise? Half a million dollars. In the days leading to the fundraiser, posters like these blanketed Williamsburg in what some call an attack on the victim and her family for coming forward. The victim and her family have undergone incredible, incredible, uh, terrible, terrible things done to them by the community to shame her. And that's why Weberman and his case have become such a lightning rod. Protesters say it's just another example of this insular community turning a blind eye on its sexual predators. Well, this is a community that unfortunately protects molesters. Pro Engelman says her child was molested, so does this father. It hurts them that they have to talk about it. They don't know what to do. The true, I see, they don't know what to do. Despite the protest, Weberman has plenty of supporters. I know this guy for many years. He's a wonderful guy. He's a special guy. You think she made it up? Sure. She's being defamed in a community where she did nothing wrong. Rabbi Nachem Rosenberg says it's typical in this community to stay silent about predators out of fear of retribution. Threaten you, they threaten your wife, your children if they're in school, and the fear makes everybody just lean back. To that, a stern denial. That's 100% not true. If the community finds someone who is not innocent, they never protect them. Back out live, you can see hundreds of supporters are still milling about outside the fundraiser, and of course, police are here keeping the peace. Uh, Weberman did not speak tonight. His lawyer wouldn't allow it, but his trial begins next month. We're live tonight in Williamsburg. Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News. Sean, thank you.